My name is Azubi Kiyokichuku. I'm the captain of the just concluded under 23 Olympics. I'm also a player of Yeni Malatia Sport in Turkey. My mom na, na my biggest fan, sha. though, but again, at some point she not allow me to play ball. For me, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed all my stuff on Nigerian League. Stephen Keshi was the Nigerian coach then. He was sitting outside, so he watched me play. After the game just finished, he called me and he told me, okay, um, Azubi Ke, I will invite you for my next camp. So I just come training one day. One evening, he just said, okay, now we need a captain in the team. And then, um, as we can go be our next captain. Um, okay, I will talk about the under 23s and um, how we take this successful, even inside all the Wahala we face and all that. Um, normally, we, we as a team, we started all together. All of us, most of us said that time we did Nigeria together, Nigerian leagues, we know ourselves. And so from there we come together, we begin play qualifiers and all that. First, you know, after the qualifiers, we still won't qualify for the Olympics. That was when we went to Senegal. And for Senegal, a lot of things happen where we say these things, even though it is supposed to weigh us down, as Nigerians will be, we need to pick ourselves up, we need to talk talk to ourselves, we need to fight. And seriously, now all these things we will face, nice to give every one of us the mind, you know, to push harder. Even for Senegal, the coach, the kidnapping mom, everything. He'll come to training, he'll still tell us, hey, even as a kidnapping mom, normal thing, he go come or he go try to find out. But he still won't coach us because we needed to be successful, you know. So all of us, we push hard for Senegal, even inside everything. We are playing with the boys together. And we will fight for one thing, and that thing that we just promote, or the one thing that we just play for the Olympics. So from there, we qualified for the Olympics. The next target now is the cup. We have to play against Algeria for the cup, and that one also. Now another thing we we sports up. We need to fight, so we win the, the cup also. Now we carry that thing now as as African leaders. We take and go to the Olympics. We went to America. We had all sorts of you know. You know things like that, but we still push because we'll be champions of Africa. Our coach they always tell us hey, we're supposed to carry down for our head, say we'll be champions of Africa. More go out there, go prove to the people, say this is no be chance, no be fluke. We did it. So that one alone pushed us until we got bronze in the Olympics. Mm, what happened is like um, is that when we did flight itself. When we did flight, we don't need to talk to ourselves. Mikel, I remember, he go stand up for him and see it. He go come meet you. Are you there? Hope your legs are straight. You have to stretch it and all that. He will say yes. It was okay. In 90 minutes we get. We know we'll be tired. It's normal. We'll be human beings. We'll not be machines. We must be tired. But we get 90 minutes. We'll just fight the 90 minutes. Because the truth is, we, we won't win that game. we not just enter the game. So we'll just play like that. We go inside that game. Even five hours, we landed, we never eat. Some of us who food from out, they run, they go stadium and all that. But inside of us, we tell ourselves, see this game, we'll fight to win. We need to fight to lose, we need to fight to draw. We need to win this game. So that thing alone for everybody in mind. Even for inside the field, if you're down, you could see somebody go contact you, so boys, they try, 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 push, you know. So because of all these things, we still win the game that day. I, I don't talk this before a lot of times, you know, but I go still repeat them again. Mikael, uh, I wasn't mandated. Nobody come force him on me. Nobody put him on me. Say, yeah, you have to give Mikael the captain back. He, he came into the camp. First of all, I don't hear say Mikael come. I don't put out my mind. I have not told anybody. I don't say, okay, for respect, if he just call me, I'll give him the captain back. I'll just make him open for everybody to know for the camp. You know, so he came to America and all that. His first training section, now I don't begin bring up the issue. You know, I just say, a senior man, you will carry us today, you know, for our normal job we love and all that. So, now they begin to tell them. So, nobody man mandate me to do that. Yeah. 
Yeah, I I used to be a, a secret protege of um, Mickey Asha. So I did under the height, I did watch them. Um, I like in game. I like in game. I just they like students for um, bro. I did watch all the games. I love them. But we still meet I think for for Kala, um for Kaduna. They invited me for the Super Eagle game, so I just came. So normally I don't be under 23 captain then. So they told him that this is the under 23 captain. Immediately, as they all tell him, he can't shake me, you know. That impression when he gave me saying a nice guy, nice guy, and all that. So even when we trained for the Super Eagles then for Cardinal, they liked me, any small thing, he go talk to me and all that. So from there, I just carry on for my say this guy is a good guy. I was, um, I think, um, we lost to um, to Germany. I didn't play though, but I think um, I was disappointed that I didn't play. The yellow card I got against Denmark in the Olympics before the game against um, Germany, I was disappointed because I knew I wasn't going to play in the semi-finals. <laughs> Lifting the on the 23 Nations Cup in Senegal. That has been my my most, you know, my best moment in football, I think. Um, if I'm not playing, I'm, I should be reading. I use that to relax. And also, I watch TVs a lot of times, so I use that to relax also. If I wasn't a footballer, I would have gone to school and um, I would have loved to be um, a doctor. That was my dream while growing up and all that. My favorite color is black. Um, rice, white rice and stew. Eh? Music. Ferrari. Fair. Walk up. First, I want to say a very big thank you to every player we did this we followed for this our last on the 23 from the first time from the first day we started the camp until the olympics for senegal wow the guys were great i'm not gonna lie we have people like indy freke indy freke was playing with injuries i don't you forget them for life because normally as normally he's supposed to go out the team goes to stay. He knew we had we had no left back, but in the front he goes to stay play. The other option was sick. Also, na Ebuka. I want to say I, I I like that guy. I like that guy. Even if he was sick, he still they come all training sections. Even though he no go train, he go still come matches. He go still help us talk to the boys. So Odudua Odudua has been Odudua and another great guy. He didn't go to the Olympics. He was injured. I miss him so much and a very good player. He helped us all through our qualifiers until the Olympics, though in no maker. For the Olympics proper, I, I, I appreciate every player. We get Obano also, Obano, he follows us qualify. He no play Senegal, he no play Olympics, but a great guy for us. We never forget, forget him. We also get guys, Mikel, good guy, senior man, he came to the team. We feel in presence. We get Daniel Emmanuel. My number one goalkeeper anywhere when day, I just hail him. Also, sincere said, Mwenfu is in the Abuja with a C, but at the same time, I don't tell him how much I appreciate him for what he do. But I was talking him here. He was a nice guy. Thanks to Imo Ezekiel. I don't go forget Usman Mohammed, my partner for midfield, very great guy. A table our goal scorer, fighter, 
e, é, Omar Sadiq, Omar Amin, o Sheu, who played in the right backs, great guy, you get Trust Ekong, my Rebo friend, so all these guys, I appreciate every one of them, Emmanuel goalkeeper also, wow, I just want to say thank you, we get Amuse Stanley, with the talk, I keep tabs with almost all these guys, but at the same time for you, I would like to say, I appreciate every one of them for their sacrifice, and um, my coaches, I never forget them. Sia Sia, the head coach, great guy, attacking coach. You know, we play good football with him. If you do it, if you play under Sia Sia, you know how to keep the ball. Like our team, we they keep possession, we score goals. Even if you have to score, but we have to score you extra. So I like the strategy. Saying our attacking team, we play direct football. We play, play, we try to score goals all our games. You know. And also, I know we forget Coach Fatai. We call him Baba and our father there, with his plenty proverbs when they talk for miles before games. I appreciate him. Coach Monday, Coach Monday, a fighter. He fights everybody from head to toe. He go quarter you, make sure say you do good. If you don't do well, Coach Monday go fight you. So I appreciate the man. Also, the doctors that made sure we were fit. You know, that make sure we are strong. I appreciate every one of them. I don't go forget our coordinator. Him also a good guy. Secretary, ah, very funny guy though. So I appreciate that team and everybody. Also, I want to say very big thank you to Delta Airlines. They tried for us. They, they they were very, very good. You know. We at this point we were we were like, okay, we are, we aren't going to the what's it called, the Olympics. We were at the airport that day. We came for for we came to see actually to see the small flight that they brought. When we got there, Mikael, me, we went to see the flight and we were like, okay, we are not traveling with this flight because it's very small. So but before you before you know it, Delta Airline came from nowhere, they said tomorrow we are going to fly you to, to Brazil. So I want to use this time out to say a very big thank you to Delta Airlines. The pilot, everybody on board that day it was it was fantastic. They were giving us foods, drinks, ice you know on air so i want to say very big thank you to the entire airlines to everybody that took our time that day you know to make sure we travel to to, to brazil 